we have a historic past with Detroit Hamtramck. It's a factory that we've had in our footprint for years, and it has a storied history, and it has a storied future. You can almost see it from the rents in. It's right in our shadows, right in our purview, and we're really proud that it's also symbolic of our future. Factory Zero is General Motors' expression and execution towards a commitment towards zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion, which is our mission. General Motors, we really expect we're gonna see an all EV future. And not just see it, we wanna lead that future. Factory Zero represents our largest investment in any plant facility and it's aimed at an all electric future and the products that we can produce. General Motors has invested in its manufacturing footprint for years and we continue to do so, but Factory Zero will reflect our greatest and newest technology and our newest presentation of how to build automotive vehicles. And of course, it'll be doing it with an EV battery assembly operation serving an EV product. I think General Motors is uniquely positioned to deliver on an all EV future because of its manufacturing scale, because of its manufacturing expertise, and because of the technology we have. And more importantly, because of our trust and the faith that our customers put in the reliability and assurance of the products that we're going to sell to them. To see the transformation and the new direction for the future that's not only meaningful for General Motors, the auto industry, but it's meaningful for the planet and the well-being of our planet. That's powerful, that's exciting, and I can't wait to see Factory Zero produce its first Hummer EV or its first cruise origin. I'm excited because doing the electrics, this is where my future's at. It's gonna help the environment, give GM, I think, a very strong future. They had a new factory, building state-of-the-art. I wouldn't be anywhere else. I think this is gonna be the showplace. We're gonna set a legacy for every other assembly plant. GM is jumping into this with both feet, and there's no slowing down. But we're excited to see this happening. This one's amazing. I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like. It's definitely something to look forward to. Talking about Factory Zero and and what it all means and how important it is to our zero, zero, zero future. The excitement, the energy, and the sense of being a part of something big is evident and tangible. This is just the beginning. We can do so much more, and we will. Welcome, everyone. My name's Jim Quick. I'm the plant director here at Detroit Hamtramck Assembly. What a great video, and Gerald, you're right. The future's bright here, and I can't wait to see what we're gonna accomplish next. Real quick, from a safety perspective, I don't think we're gonna have a weather event today, but in case we did need to take shelter, we'll head right towards the American flag, the flag post, head inside the, the plant, We'll take a left in the hallway and go down and gather in the cafeteria, which is our take shelter area. Also, I want to thank everyone for abiding by COVID protocols today and throughout the, the, uh, the program. So thanks for that. We've got a lot of exciting news and updates to share. Some of the things that have been going on here in the plant, you got caught a glimpse of in that great video. I want to take a moment and recognize Everyone that stand, that's sitting in front of me now, none of the transformation at the speed that we're doing it could be made possible without the great women and men here at the plant working to transform this plant into something very special. So please give them a round of applause with me. Some of them you heard on the video, you saw on the video. I'd like to ask Christina, Roger, Jeff, and Gerald, please stand up. I want to recognize you. I appreciate your engagement, your expertise, and your willingness to take this journey with me. I'm so proud to be leading you and leading this team. It's true we're making a lot of great progress here. We meet new challenges every day, and it's very exciting. Now I want to introduce UAW Local Chairman, UAW Local 22, Mike Plater, to say a few remarks. Mike. Good afternoon. 
Welcome to Detroit Hamtramck. First, I'd like to thank and welcome Regional Service and Rep. Rhonda Maurer from Region 1 under the direction of Frank Stuglin. I'd like to thank and welcome Dwayne Hawkins, International Service and Rep. from the Office of Terry Dittis, Vice President and UAW GM Director. Also, I'd like to thank Gerald Johnson and Peter Tom and Mike Trevorrow from GM Headquarters. First, I'd like to tell you guys it's a great thing to have a new sign, a new name, uh, great day for DHAM. But what I will say is one thing that won't change is that those great vehicles that will be built in DHAM, Factory Zero, will be by UAW membership Local 22, and that will not change, and we will continue to build the best vehicles on the globe. I appreciate our membership coming to work every day, their perseverance, they're willing to work hard and do what's best for their families to provide for them and to build the best, very best vehicles and now electric trucks on the globe. We are proud to lead and go into the future with General Motors and be the champions for zero emissions, zero crashes, and zero congestion. And we appreciate the chance. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Well said, as always. Just a friendly reminder, when we finish the program today, I'll facilitate Q&A from the stage with the media, with Gerald, um, and then everyone can uh, uh, adjourn for the, for the meeting. We'll do that to make sure that we abide by the COVID protocols and the physical distancing. Now, with that, it's my pleasure to introduce my friend, Global main, or excuse me, my friend, Gerald Johnson, General Motors, Executive Vice President of Global Manufacturing. Gerald. Good morning. It's a little chilly out here, but we do have the sunshine, and that was, that's rare a little bit here in Michigan. But it's a great day, not just because of the weather. It's a great day for what we're here to celebrate and acknowledge and make official. It was several months ago where Jim first started talking about <clears throat> renaming the plant, renaming it in line with what, it's, what it symbolizes and what it means and what, what's going to happen and what's going to be accomplished. From Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Plant, and we realize we're still in Detroit Hamtramck uh, location geographically, but pointing to a future that we want to tell the world about becoming something here that the world will want to come see. So Factory Zero is a reference actually back to Factory One or Flint One. Roughly 100 years ago, we started Flint One, transformation from horse and buggies to automobiles with powertrains and engines. And Factory Zero represents that for us today, hopefully for another 100 years of where we're going committed to zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. Building vehicles and being part of an industry overhaul, if you will, that's aimed at saving lives, saving our planet, and saving our most precious commodity, which is time. So I'm excited to be here. So Jim, thanks for inviting me. Mike, thanks for having me. Local 22, all the trades people and all the folks that are doing the most important work out there, I really appreciate that. Probably three months ago, I came through here, and we still had a lot of uh, equipment all over the floor, and so you had to imagine what the place is going to look like. I walked through it this morning, and now there's nothing on the floor, so you got to still imagine what the place is going to look like. But imagine we will until we see every piece of steel and every piece of conveyance and all the work that has to go into our paint shop and all the tools that have to go in our body shop until this thing comes all the way back to life. But I'm so excited about it. I mentioned in the... Uh, in the video, you can see Detroit Ham Tramic from the Rensen. And I want you to know that we do see you and that we're looking and we're watching. We want to stand by to help this location walk us into a future that we believe in, an all electric future, a future that's going to change the automobile industry, a future that you and I are going to lead. General Motors is going to lead in because it matters. So, with all that said, 
I don't want to stay out here. It is still a little chilly out here. But we came to unveil the sign and make it official, help everyone understand that there's something new and special happening here at Factory Zero. And so with that, if all goes well, you guys can uh, pull that. there you have it it's official factory zero is born and all of you guys are witnesses and participants so to our new moms and dads of factory zero congratulations looking forward to living this future together thank you Jim thank you Gerald well, it's tough to get emotional seeing the, the sign for the first time. Um, what a great day. I look forward to you know, many more great days with this entire team. The best is yet to come here. Uh, I look forward to the next time that we're all together with the media, perhaps driving the first super truck off the line. I want to thank you all for coming today. Please be safe on your way out of here. Have a great day.